Hello, hello. Can you guys hear us? Are we live? How's it sound? Welcome to our special Computex stream. It is now 4 a.m. in the morning. Not really. It's actually 7.30 p.m. Let us know how the sound sounds, guys. So we are here in Taiwan doing a special Computex stream. We're going to be streaming for three hours straight. Three hours. We have some giveaways and uh, gaming to game and stuff to show you. It's been a pretty fun Computex. So I am joined here with Steven Chin. Hello, Hi, everyone. Doing? So Steven, if you guys don't know, is one of my favorite people in the whole world because he is my contact for everything R&D related here at EVJ. <laughs> so oh. I talked to Steven. I talk to Steven probably like five times a day, every day, including Saturdays and Sundays. Right. <laughs> Always. <laughs> so, uh... It also yeah. wakes me up in the nights. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's <laughs> right. So, uh, he uh, basically uh, runs a lot of the R&D. So, tell me a little bit about the stuff you do here at EVJ. So, like, anything pretty much that's R&D related, you're pretty involved in, correct? Yeah, right. Fun. For example, like the uh, spec definition, so I discussed with Jacob a lot of the uh, spec related stuff, how we position the hardware, software, everything from graphics card, motherboard, the cooling stuff, everything. everything. A lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Yeah. You heard that. So, uh, Stephen lives in Taiwan, that's where we're at currently, and that's why we are streaming at a, such a strange hour. Um, what's the Wi-Fi speed like this time? I don't know what that means. Buffering for me a lot. Let me know if you guys are seeing any issues with buffering or anything like that. Maybe we need to adjust the bit rate a bit, if there is. Wait, this monitor is EVJ2? No, it's not technically an EVJ monitor. I think you can actually see that. But uh, it's just an EVJ sticker. So actually, right in this room here, you guys can't really see it. This is like the EVJ game arena. So we have like a streaming booth here. But then outside there, which you guys can't see, we have like a whole stadium set up and whole kinds of cool stuff over there. So it's, it's good fun when we have uh, events here and things. How do we sound though, guys? Running smooth on YouTube. So we're, we're live on YouTube, Twitch. Mixer, I think, and Periscope. So, I do want to talk about something new that we showed here at Computex, which is pretty exciting. So this is something pretty special. This is really heavy, by the way, so I'm just warning you guys, and I definitely don't want to drop it, because I have dropped things in the past, <laughs> especially one-of-a-kind things, and this is not one of them. So this is the SR3 motherboard. Check this thing out. The SR3 motherboard. So this is for uh, the high-end Xeon, Intel Xeon 28 core CPUs. So uh, this is pr pretty awesome. So this is actually, um, we call it the SR3. If you guys uh, are familiar with some of the products in EVJ history, we had an SR2 motherboard. And then we had an SRX motherboard. These were workstation class motherboard you could say which also had overclocking features and so we really wanted to kind of bring back that although this is a single socket those were dual sockets we wanted to bring back that kind of feeling feature set of the workstation class product with overclocking features so uh tell me a little bit about this so this is pretty much built for overclocking so we were talking a little bit about Power. So it's like 20 power phases, right? Right. It's basically 20 po phases power for the CPU V core. So also you can see here we have the uh, four inputs to support those, uh, you know, crazy maybe during the overclocking. It's it needs maybe up to a thousand watts CPU. So then the the cooling. So you need to be very nice cooling to yeah. cool the VR in town. Yeah, so talking about these right angled power connectors, so this is something that we first did on the EVJ Z390 uh, dark motherboard. So basically in order to do, to do this, because traditionally your power, your CPU power inputs are up here. 
So in order to have the power inputs at the right edge here, you actually need to rotate the entire socket. And what's the reason for that? Is that so you can have the BRM on this edge here? Yes. So um, by change the orientation for the CPU socket and thin slot, there's two purpose. So one, you can get a very like a smooth air flow if you have air cooling. So from the front chassis to the back side exhaust fan. Uh, that's one of the reason. The second one, we can make sure the power components all at this side and uh, the A pin is just next to it. So very short delivery path from the input to the VRM, then uh, supply to the CPU. That's the second purpose. Okay. So if you guys are seeing uh, buffering issues, I saw some people saying on Twitch, maybe you can <coughs> check it out on YouTube. Uh, we are on YouTube and Mixer as well. Um, actually, so the other thing I wanted to mention about this is uh, this cooler here. So this is actually a water block that can be either water or passively cooled, right? Yep. So I think you can so see the BRM. The, yeah, the BRM. The BRM's under here and then the chipset. See the cooling fin, the chipset. So if, if you do the like, intensive overclocking, you can use your custom loop to let the water through the block then give you the best cooling experience. And uh, if we talk about the I.O. here, this thing is actually really heavy, by the way. So it's like a 12-layer 12, 12 <laughs> piece. This is a 12-layer PCB, right? 16. Six, oh, wow. 16. <laughs> right. I thought it was 12 layers. 16-layer PCB. Yeah. Wow. So by having more PCB layers, what does that do for you? So basically, you have more, let's say, the, the, the trace inside the PCB, you can get a better like uh, isolation from the... Uh, different layers. For example, like I will select this inner layer one for the uh, memory traces, for example. Then I have another ground shell. Mm -hmm. Then the next layer I can do, for example, like PCIe. So just make sure all the high-speed signal with very good signal integrity. Yeah. So that's the purpose to have many like, uh, you know, layers. And also with many layers, you can deliver the power across different layers to, for example, like from the VRM to the uh, CPU. So make sure they, they can have a very good quality power when you, during your testing, you will not drop the voltage or some noise over there. Mm. Okay. So it also has 10 gigabit ethernet, actually two of them, right? Two of them, yes. Yeah, two. You can do teaming. Yep. <laughs> so for those of you guys who are said that you're seeing buffering, mm -hmm. Uh, try it on YouTube. It seems to be a bit better here. Let me change one setting on here if I can get in here Let me look at one thing. I may have forgotten to change See the funny thing is like you when you stream from US to and you, you usually you stream in US and now we're streaming in Taiwan You got to remember to change these servers sometimes. Let me see. Oh, this oh. could be why <laughs> Okay so let's see, what, what looks closest here? Here. I don't know if I need to restart. Oh, I do. Well, let me see if it... Let's see if that works. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, well, anyways, if it's... Let me know if it, if it gets better or not. I, I changed one of the settings. So we'll see. But uh, it is also on YouTube if you guys are having issues. Uh, let's see. I may have to restart the stream. For you Twitch users, let me know. Did it stop buffering? Looks like I have to probably restart it. <clears throat> Is your power plug plugged into the wall? I hope so. I wonder, can I just restart the Twitch stream without... Here, I'm going to try this. We're going to restart Twitch and then start it. 
I'm not quite sure I can do that. Let me know if it, Ricardo, let me know if it came back. It should have went off and came back. <laughs> Refresh it. All right, so we're here talking about the SR3 motherboard. That's this one right here. How much does this thing weigh? <laughs> I'll say like three pounds or more. Yeah. So uh, again, this is uh, going to be our highest end motherboard for the Workstation 28 core Xeon CPU. And uh, has U.2 as well, three U.2s plus SATA, of course. And uh, the one thing is that this motherboard is going to have a lot of overclocking features. So all the features that you know and love from EVGA motherboards um, are uh, going to be on this board. So the BIOS, overclocking features, voltage control, all that kind of stuff that you guys expect uh, will be there. Did Twitch reconnect? Did Twitch, is it buffering or no? no? All right, so hopefully that fixed something. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> uh, all right, so let me close that. So if you guys have any questions about this motherboard, so uh, I'm here with Steven, who uh, does a lot of the R&D at EBJ. So if you have any questions about the motherboard, put it in the chat, we'll try to answer it if we can. What about warranty? So just like any other EBJ product, you know, it'll have uh, probably a three-year warranty. We haven't defined all that yet, um, but uh, supports overclocking, of course, as long as you don't physically damage damage it. Is Twitch working better, guys? My quality went up to 1080p. <coughs> Do you so see any buffering on your side? Yeah. Hmm. So each. Okay. has to the latency across the ocean <laughs> it's sending the signal across the ocean underground <laughs> stream looks fine okay so hopefully it's better now I did stop and restart it I think so we'll see Benzine. so in case you guys are just joining us we are here in Taiwan Taipei it is Computex time. So Computex, if you guys aren't familiar, is a computer show that happens once a year in Taipei. And uh, we usually have a suite there, show off new products. And it's a pretty big show for the computer industry. What is the socket again? So the socket is the LGA 3647 socket right. for the Xeon 28 core CPUs. How many power phases? 20 power phases, right? It's 20, yeah. 20 for V core and 3 for memory. So each side, 3 for each side. Yeah, 20 for V core, 3 for memory. And it's going to be shipping probably in August time frame. We're still working that out. August, maybe September. Don't drop it. I will try not to. <laughs> not on my keyboard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the water, I think the water block does add a, quite a significant right. amount of uh, weight right. to it. But the water block is can be run as passive or as with a water loop in it. Don't do a linus. What is the recommended cooling units? Um, I can't really answer that exactly, but I can say that we have used the Asetech. What is the model number? Six six ninety X or something? I think it's called. I can't recall exactly, but there is an Asetech. A unit that is built by Ace Tech that actually supports this platform um, and works pretty good. That's what we've uh, been using. Wow, so many people on here. So many people on here so early. What time is it where you guys are at right now? Jacob, which products have you enjoyed most from other manufacturers in this exhibition? Hmm. Tough question. I don't know, nothing comes to mind right now. I mean, there's there's always a lot of good stuff at Computex. 12.51 p.m. Oh, that's not too bad. Right now it is 7.52 p.m. here. 8 a.m. in Florida. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. East Coast. Right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the chat's going fast. <laughs> yeah, pretty fast. Hello from Texas, 4.50 a.m. What are you doing up so early, man? <laughs> I'm still asleep at that time. <laughs> 4.50 a.m. Wow. 
4.51 a.m. in California. Wow. Yeah. That's my time zone. I should be asleep right now. So, NVIDIA. NVIDIA did have a press event. The uh, One of the most exciting things for me is that Quake 2 is going to come out in June, on June 6th. I'm so excited <laughs> for that. <laughs> I've been calling my, my uh, NVIDIA friend like every day, please. Please send me the Quake 2 build. So this is, uh, in case you guys didn't notice, they're uh, releasing an update to Quake for Quake 2 that adds real-time ray tracing to the game. And uh, it's pretty exciting for me because Quake 2 was like one of the first games that I ever experienced with 3D acceleration with like a 3D effects Voodoo 2. So to see that in ray tracing, I think it's, it's pretty sweet so many years later. 7 p.m. 8 a.m. in Ontario. One o'clock, ray tracing. Speaking of ray tracing, I like literally just got an alert on my phone about some new ray tracing game that, I don't know, it's on NVIDIA's YouTube channel. I didn't even look at it yet. I just, I just saw it pop up. What CPU would you recommend for this board? So it's the 3175, right? Is that the CPU? Yeah, 3175X. Yeah, so, so the 3175X is, this, is the CPU that you from Intel that you can fit on this board. It's 28 cores. Overclocking CPU. Plus overclocking. Right. That's a lot of cores. I would love to build one of these systems. I haven't, I haven't tried a 28 core system before. <laughs> that sounds right. fun. 4.53 a.m. in Arizona. Portugal, 12.53 p.m. All right, guys. So I did mention that we will have giveaways. So we're going to do a giveaway every hour. We're going to stream for three hours. We're going to give away an EVJ X299 motherboard. All right, 299 Dark, actually. An EVJ X299 Dark motherboard. Thank you to Intel for allowing us to do the stream and give away these great prizes. So an EVJ X299 Dark motherboard is what we're going to give away. So for all of you guys that are up really early, that is the, see? Getting up early actually paid off for you. You may win. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> so here's how you can win, guys. Go to evga.com forward slash live giveaway. I'm going to put it in the chat here. evga.com forward slash live. Any suggestions on price? Not yet. Not quite there yet. evga.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word equals Steven. For our good friend Stephen Chen here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, ever since I've been talking to Stephen, I mean, how how long have we been working? A long time. You mean for EJ? Yeah, a long time. Thirteen years. Something like that. Yeah. And I've learned some Mandarin from Stephen. Yeah. Like shishi. Yeah. That's Other one? It. That's about <laughs> it. <laughs> don't, so, don't say the bad words. That's about it. No, we don't say bad words on the stream. But I did learn a couple of those from you. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know if, if Steve from Gamer Snacks will get a chance to take pictures of the X599 Dark? I think you mean you mean the S, SR3 Dark? Uh, I hope so. Actually, she's available next week. What's that? Oh, the hydrocopper. The hydrocopper 20, yes, yeah. the 2080 Ti uh, Kingpin hydrocopper will be available next week. Yes. It is not in the chat. Is the chat lagging? I don't know. I think it didn't work. <laughs> Tried to post it, but it didn't work. Uh, it's evj.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Steven, S T E V E N. Yeah, it didn't come through. I don't know why. Let me try again. evj.com forward slash live away huh. I don't know why it didn't come through well if, if one of you guys could post it in the chat evj.com forward slash live giveaway the secret word is Steven s-t-e-v-e-n that is the secret word let me see if I can figure out why it didn't come through well I'm not sure why, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. Maybe 
it doesn't let me post um, links for something. I don't know. What are we talking about? I'm Let's like, post this. Yeah, I don't know. It was working earlier. Weird. Anyways, evj.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Steven, S T E B E N. That's a secret word. We're going to give away an evj X299 dark motherboard for all you early birds out there. Or late birds, where if you're living. Why do we call it? Why do we say early birds and not late birds? Or do we say late birds? I've never heard late birds. No. <laughs> uh, the secret word is Steven. Are you guys enjoying your time in Taiwan? Yeah, so far. I found hot dogs. So here's the true story. There's this place called. Let's see. I have a picture of it. There's this place called. Where is that? Hot dog bar. Let's see. Can you guys see that? Hot dog bar. <laughs> Hot dog bar X Bistro. It's ex actually it's called Their Dogs. Like their, like T H E R E. Right. Their dogs. Their dogs. And it's right across the street from our office here. And we tried to get the hot dogs earlier today, and believe it or not, they sold out of hot dogs. Right. How can you sell out of hot dogs? <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> A lot of, we sold out of hot dogs, so. Yep. We're going to, uh, maybe we'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Have to. You have to try the Taiwan dog. That's basically they put the. The logo, the dog in the in the yeah. bread, in the in the in the bread. There's in, yeah, in the so logo funny. of the hot dog place. There's a dog that's literally in the bread. So yep. I'm a little bit concerned about what I'm gonna get with this <laughs> hot dog, but I'm willing to try. So yeah. So anyways, thank you, Stephen, for joining our stream today, talking a little bit about this motherboard here, the SR3 Dark motherboard coming in August. Showing it off at Computech, so make sure to check out your favorite tech press, as a lot of them have covered it, although we still have a couple more days of Taiwan. So, um, you know, we'll probably see more coverage. Sold out because a lot of Americans are visiting. I don't know. I, <laughs> maybe. Maybe it's, maybe it's, right. maybe it is the world's best hot dog. I don't know. I didn't get to try it. So... So yeah, thanks, thanks Stephen for joining our stream, talking about the SR3 motherboard. So now you guys know, this is who I talk to every day to learn everything I need to know about EBJ, what is going on with EBJ, R&D, tech, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks for Jacob and thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye. All right, now we have a, uh, another guest coming on. Some of you guys may remember him as the Brazilian Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good. Yeah. All right. So this is Ricardo, also known as the Brazilian Vin Diesel. Yeah. For, for those ones that I believe two years ago we started streaming from here, and it was the first time I, I came down. That was awesome. We had a couple of Doritos. We did, superior yes. flavors. We did have Doritos. This is By the way, they awesome. they have a lot of unique Doritos around here. I'll say that. I'll just say it that way. That um, it's a very unique experience. Yeah, they have Doritos and stuff here that you won't find anywhere else. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we have a special guest for you. Okay. Are you able to bring him in and kind of. Yeah. Sure. The Brazilian Vin Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> afterwards, sure. yeah. All yeah, right, fine. so we're going to talk to Brazilian Vin Diesel. Okay, be right back, man. <laughs> Sorry for that. Okay. But he be will right be back. right back. We do have another special guest. We have a lot of special guests around here. <laughs> all right, all right. How's it going, man? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> thanks for Always coming Always a pleasure. On. Yeah, thanks Always. for coming on. So no this problem. Is, this is Sean, guys. What's so, up, community? He is. Uh, so, what's your title? The Ace of Tech. I'm the Ace of Tech. <laughs> I'm the Ace of Tech uh, technology evangelist. Okay. So, technology evangelist. Hardcore so, evangelizing is what yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Sean here. We've been working with him for a long time yep. on all kinds. Of all different kinds things. of stuff. At one point, I was writing on the EVGA blog. Um, I've done stuff with you guys with from a journalist standpoint, uh, 
done writing for GeForce.com where I was featuring EVGA products and builds. And uh, then I kind of divorced myself from you guys and went in bed with Asus for a little while. Um, and now I'm at Ace Tech, and okay. I get to work with EVGA as well as so many of uh, our other OEM partners. Yeah, so uh, it's good to hear that uh, we're able to work with you again after yeah. a few years of hiatus, I guess. Yeah, it's exciting. It's actually very, very exciting. We have a lot of stuff, not much that we can actually divulge right now, but there's a lot of cool stuff going on. We have a real new focus on uh, community. Mm -hmm. where we're going to be doing much more community facing mm -hmm. stuff we're going to be doing more promotions um we have a lot of co-marketing opportunities with our o with our oems <laughs> it's going to be really really exciting for a lot of hardcore gamers esports players and uh enthusiasts in general yeah so is it sean or sean s-e-a-n it's s-h-a-w-n -S that's right. funny thanks for asking <laughs> a lot of people assume it's the irish s-e-a-n but no it's the boring phonetic so there you go yep yep s-h-a-w-n yep <laughs> that's me um so for those of you guys who aren't familiar with ace attack so a lot of the products that we sell on our well let me put it this way so evj has clc coolers right the closed loop coolers we have the 120 240 280 millimeter and at Computex we actually announced a 360 millimeter radiator which we're pretty excited to bring to market. What? So uh, all of those coolers utilize Ace Tech technology. Yep. So that's what he does. Um, so like the pump, you know, inside the EVJ housing there's a pump and you know all the goodness that goes along with that is uh, powered by Ace Tech. Yep, that's Ace Tech technology. A lot of the graphics cards that you guys see, like the hybrid cards, are also powered by Ace Tech technology as well. So, like that kick-ass Kingpin card. Yes, like that Kingpin card <laughs> for sure. Yeah, so uh, that's a pretty exciting one. Exciting one for us. We launched that. That's actually the first Kingpin card. Well, there's, there's there's a couple of firsts with that product. Yeah. Number one, it's the first Kingpin card to feature a hybrid cooler. Yep. And number two. It's the first EVGA card ever to feature a 240 millimeter radiator on a graphics card. Yep. So a couple new firsts on that one, and yep, yep, uh, yep. you know we have actually one in our suite, and that thing is like 48 degrees Celsius under. Very degrees. chilly. <laughs> Very chilly. We have one in the office. That, yep, running same. It's so, a sweet, sweet product. Yeah. Easily, easily the top of the line RTX 2080 Ti card for sure. So the uh, the interesting thing that I found with, uh, like when we first started doing the hybrid coolers like a long time ago, um, I was actually quite surprised at like how well they work on graphics cards. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, it's like basic, so you know, you, you guys have your like, uh, you know, you have your like, well, the traditional kind of like do it yourself water cooling and mm -hmm. then you have like the closed loop cooler and it's like surprisingly close yeah in terms of performance to that yeah very very capable of cooling a cpu core or a gpu core yep yeah so pretty exciting stuff and as you guys know with the graphics cards um <clears throat> a lot of a lot of your performance is based on the temperature so you have a mm -hmm. thing called gpu boost gpu boost if your temperature is too high, your car's not going to boost as high. That's just the way it works. So you definitely want to make sure that your GPU is running as cool as possible. Yep. Yep. Nobody likes GPU throttle. No. Nobody does. So if you guys <laughs> have any questions for Sean or Ace Tech, please put it in the chat. Again, we are giving a, we have a giveaway. EVJ.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Steven. That is for an EVJ X299 dark motherboard. <laughs> Finally, RGB keyboards took you guys long enough. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get it right. Yeah. So, in case you guys missed it, so we, I don't think, I don't know if you can see it on here, but a few years ago we launched a keyboard called the Z10. And then we just refreshed it today with, or yesterday, with a Z10 RGB. So, the Z10 RGB is basically the Z10 with RGB and a whole new software interface as well. Is there any giveaway? I just said there was. EVG.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Steven for our good friend Steven Chin, who has, is not on our stream anymore, but if you guys caught it earlier, he is the uh, runs a lot of the R&D 
Overall Kingpin card I cannot afford. Well, the good news is that uh, we have a lot of other hybrid graphics cards as well at different price points. So if you want your card to run cool, then check out a hybrid card or a cooler. Any plans to use 140 millimeter fans on 120s? So that's the thing about, you know, that we're always kind of juggling the thought about, because that really comes, that really depends on us. Really, yeah, that's why I was, I was going to kick that over to Jacob. Yeah, whether or not we want to use a 120 or a 140 or a 240. And it really comes down to chassis compatibility. Exactly. So I think we're at the point now where most chassis probably could support a 140 millimeter radiator. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's time to start looking at a 140 instead of 120. I don't know. What do you guys think? And then on our end, we could do some testing to try and create a case scenario to really push that on you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's worth maybe it's worth exploring one for it. I think yeah, most, yeah, most, both sides. most common ch most recent chassis I think could support a 140 millimeter radiator. Uh, we're one an ergonomic keyboard with RGB. Uh, an ergonomic keyboard with RGB. Does that exist? I don't think so. Do they, <laughs> do they <laughs> still make ergonomic <laughs> gaming keyboards? I've hey, seen yeah, I've seen I've ergonomic seen keyboards. I'm not sure if I'd call them gaming. Yeah. But 140 rad, please. <laughs> Is the SR3 Dark equipped with RGB too? No. No, it's no. called Dark, right? <laughs> it might have RGB headers on here, actually. I'm not 100 percent sure, but probably not. I'm gonna guess no. Has the issues plaguing the 2080 Ti been fixed on the King Pen, and is the cooling solution from? Asetek covering the other chip on the PCB that gets hot. So if by other chip you mean VRM. Right. So I mean that's really the only other chip on the Kingpin card that um, gets hot. I mean the memory too. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have a separate yeah. cooling solution for that. And the Asetek we really focus on cooling the GPU. Uh, that's what the Asetek cooling solution is focused on. 360 millimeter. Have the issues plaguing the 2080? What issues? Snow, maybe you can tell us what issues. Yeah, that one I'm not, I'm not sure. You know so. not, you know nothing, John Snow. Okay. <laughs> Having an issue? Are you guys still st still seeing buffering on the Twitch stream? I think I fixed that already. I have a DG87 and my 2080 Ti FTW3 Ultras only take 120. Yeah, we only designed it with 120. Sorry, but like I said, if you guys want to see 140s. Mm -hmm. in the future let us know and maybe you know i think it's worth maybe considering i'm also on the forum guys and a lot of these discussions i'm always open to have on the forums like if there's something very adamant about hearing what the community wants because uh myself and my counterpart that works out of our headquarters in denmark we speak directly to the engineers and the engineers are very eager to know what does the future of aio look like uh, and and dictated kind of by the consumers so all those discussions, either live or in the forums, I'm always willing to, to hear what you guys have to say. 140 would be nice. Okay, let me put it this way. Does anyone in the chat have a chassis that cannot support 140 millimeter? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how many non-140 millimeter chassis there actually is. Somebody asked about Some the system. SFF. Yeah, something, yeah, small form. I mean, really, that's the... That's really, Or yeah, like yeah. an old chassis. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, somebody said, uh, what rig are they using? So actually we're using a small form factor PC with a RTX 2070 inside here. Mm -hmm. I don't really know the other specs to be honest. Nothing too crazy. Alright, hi to Denmark. I'll let our Denmark colleagues know you're saying hi. Oh, somebody said, our mm. Snow, he's talking about, he said the Space Invader. Okay, so... Uh, we, I think NVIDIA pretty much did come out publicly and talk about that issue, and it has been addressed. So, you know, I don't think you're going to see that occur. I mean, I haven't seen it in quite some time, to be honest. Oh, okay. Reach is talking about cases. So what kind of, what kind of rig do you primarily game on right now? Um, I, well, I have my rig at work that I work with, it's, um, uh, it's a 9900K, it's got a RTX 2080 Ti Kingpin in it. Okay, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> that'll do it. Um, and 16 gigs of, uh, Corsair RAM, 
Um, it's in a Corsair F70X case, uh, Samsung M.2. Um, so I, you know, I'm gaming on a serious rig yeah. right now. <laughs> and then at, at home, it's an older rig, but definitely no slouch. 3960X with 32 gigs of DDR4, uh, is it G-Skill? No, 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 Dami Plat. So that's Corsair RAM as well. Um, and I have an EVGA 1080 Ti in that system uh, for the Win 3. And what else is it? Oh, a uh, couple M.2s. And yeah, so that's my system. I'm actually ready to rebuild. I mean, the 3960X is, that's still a monster, but yeah. it's, it's, I'm about ready to, about ready to step it up, probably a 9900K. I could go KS, but I could also just overclock my K. I guess, right? <laughs> can you play Minecraft in 4K? No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You can only play in 8K. Maybe 12K. What MOBO? Hope you've got that in a Z390 Dark. I'm still using the EVJ980 Ti SC Plus. I like to upgrade, but... But what? Why not? Oh yeah, I am using the Z390 uh, motherboard for that system at work, the 9900K system, but it is not an EVGA uh -oh. motherboard. Uh-oh, need to get you a new motherboard. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's about that time. Yeah. We have plans for that SR3 Dark that I think you guys are gonna really, really like, so stay, stay tuned for that. So this is your first time in Taiwan, right? This is my very first time in Taiwan, so yes. what do you think? It's amazing. So you literally like landed this morning, right? I literally landed this morning. <laughs> I flew out of SFO, at 1 a.m. and landed in Taiwan at 5 a.m. It's, it's interesting because it's like flying into the future. I left on Monday, I know. didn't get here until going Wednesday. Going back is even trippier. Yeah, it's like, it's like going back in time. Yeah. I think weird. I land like two hours after I left you know just because I'm going back in time. You know what's funny is one of uh, our coworkers here, Joe, his birthday is on the day we fly back. Uh -huh. So it's like, he's like, I get double birthday. Yeah, he's celebrating. <laughs> he's, yeah, right? That's true. That's, that's actually like, true. Yeah, right. That's too funny. So yeah, no, this is, uh, Taiwan's been amazing so far. Um, part of that is because I'm kind of delirious and haven't slept. But <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a good show so far. Yeah, well, you'll sleep pretty well tonight, I think, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, did you sleep on the plane at all? Yeah, oh yeah, I slept on the plane. The, the idea was to uh, try to stay as awake, try to stay awake as long as I could, so then I could sleep kind of towards the middle of the yeah. end of the flight, and I did that. I watched a couple yeah, movies. Yeah, should then, be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst time is, like, like, I've been to Taiwan a few times where, like, I couldn't sleep on the plane for mm -hmm. whatever reason, and I land, and I'm like, it's morning. Like, I yeah, that's sleep, how I, I am. I gotta go to the office and like, oh. That's how I am when I go to our headquarters in, uh, in Denmark. The jet lag is brutal. You know, I get there and then you can't sleep and the days just last forever. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, you you're like, look at the, like, wow, it's 2 p.m. Yeah, exactly. It feels, it feels like, like 2 a.m. Yeah, it feels like 2 a.m. So, yeah, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. It's a great show. Um, we actually get to, after the show, we're going to be flying to uh, Xiamen, China, where our manufacturing facility is. Oh, okay. So we're going to be doing some stuff out there. we got a couple projects we're going to be working on. Um, and then it's back, or, you know, pulls up back to uh, SFO on the 5th of June. And I'll be, I might take a couple days off, then I'll be right back at it. I have some, some testing and a build article that I'm going to be doing. And then I have some EVGA stuff planned that I need to talk to Jacob about. Good. Yep. Yes. Yep, yep. Let's do it. <laughs> But yeah, so um, other than that, man. Why should a, I buy an EVJ PSU? Why shouldn't you, actually? No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Actually, I mean, there's there's plenty of reviews out there that can help you choose the right power supply for your system. Um, some people think I may be biased, but I think the EVJ power supplies are fantastic. Yep. You know, the G3, G3 line is great. So if you're looking for a gold-rated power supply, the G3 units are pretty stellar. We actually announced a few other power supply models here at Computex, we're gonna have a G5, a G7 as well. So G3, G5, G7. So it's kind of like good, better, best, or best, even better, the bestest. Like <laughs> you guys have some really <laughs> nice stuff um, in your booth, or not in your booth, but in your uh, in your suite. Yeah. yeah that that super tiny thousand watt. Yeah, so that is amazing. That's the G7, so it's, tiny like you're like wow this thing this thing like literally it's well, i don't have anything here for to represent the size 
but it's it's really small and it's a thousand watts. Yeah, so. it's like it's like half the size of a traditional toaster or something. Yeah. It's like it's pretty small. So for as long as I have known you, you have always been into gaming. Yep. And gaming a lot. Absolutely. So, I've how, known how you guys long, for quite a while. How long have you, like, where, when did you start gaming? Did you, like, start on console? Yeah, PC I did. Or? I did. I mean, I used to play Atari when I was a kid. I mean, now I'm yeah. showing my age. but um, <laughs> I did, too. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. But then, I, you know, I kind of took a break and then got back into like, Nintendo and the first PlayStation. But what's interesting is I had the first Xbox. I had a PlayStation. I had a PlayStation 2. And then from that point... I just I, I saw what PC gaming was yeah. doing. I saw that there was just so much more sophistication in the games, and the intricacy of like controls and how much the, the how much more depth there was into the gameplay. It just I was enthralled. So I built my first PC, and I never looked back. I never had a, I've never had a PlayStation Three. I've never had an Xbox. Uh, so what one. was like what was like some of the first PC games that you remember like really? Oh, um, um, Free Space Two. Uh, uh, Mist, um, 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 Blade Runner, point and click Blade, Blade Runner. Runner. Yeah. Um, oh goodness, um, Bruce Campbell did the voiceover for Tachyon. It was a it was a space flight game called. Was it Tachyon? I think I played that one. I think it was called Tachyon. It was similar to Free Space, but it was nowhere near as intricate as Free Space. Yeah. I remember and, Free Space being like a pretty in depth. Like strategy type game. Right? Yeah. Is that, is yeah. that kind of summed up right? Yeah, and uh, Free Space Two. I mean, it was you know it was a it was a space sim, yeah. but it was pretty deep. It was I, I loved that game. I played for Free Space Two. I ended up getting a Cytec throttle and you know throttle and uh, stick. Them my little hot hotus. <laughs> But yeah, so that was some of the first PC gaming that I had done, um, and I've stuck with the platform since. And the passion you have to build just kind of turned into an occupation. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I went to school for pre-med. I was going to go into acupuncture. Really? Yeah. Oh. And here I am. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> it's just funny how things. Yeah, it's just funny how things work out. Yeah. And you know, I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change it for the world. I. I get to test PCs, build PCs, play games, and talk to the gaming community all day, every day. So it's it's a labor of love. It's a dream come true. Yeah, you know? it is pretty. It is pretty good doing something that you you enjoy doing. For me, I started. Let's see. My first gaming PC. I mean, I played like the King's Quests and those, and then. But I think. Oh the, yeah, King's Quest. Yeah, like King's Quest Five. Yeah, and exactly. Six. Mm -hmm. I think five and six are the ones that I remember mm -hmm. the most, and then Space Quest mm -hmm. and uh, Space Quest. Some of those titles, but I would say the first game that really got me into PC was probably Doom. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's kind of like everyone. Yeah, I guess yeah. that got him into yep. Doom, of course, and then uh, Quake, Quake Two, Quake Three, yeah. of course, and Half Life. I was huge Half Life fan, not just because. He has the same last name as me. Although that does Freeman. help. <laughs> that, that does help. <laughs> but a uh, huge, huge Half-Life fan. Um, so, I don't know. I've always been a first-person shooter kind of kind of guy, you know. So yeah. Since, I, ever since. I Actually, Wolfenstein. I played a lot of Wolfenstein, too. But yeah, like, I, have, I have genres that, like, I like little itches that I feel like need to be scratched. Like, I always feel like I need to have a decent racing game. I need to have, like, a decent action-adventure game. And I always yeah. have to have at least one or two at least one or two first person yeah, shooters yeah I guess so like I, I'm pretty like a, like, a single player first person shooter is pretty good but I always want to have like a competitive first person shooter yeah. on it you know on tap as well like I, I guess I'm pretty diverse in that way too like I I like a lot of racing games also probably more the arcadey type racing, me too, racing games me too. not so much the sim hardcore sims yeah, yeah. I kind of steer clear I like yeah. having fun and crashing and yeah. all that stuff um, and then I have my fair share of like fighting games. Like I'm huge MK11 fan. Mm -hmm. And then um, let's see, what other kind of genres? I, I actually got into Dragon Ball games. Fighter Z for a little oh, while. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, I played some of that. It's yeah, a cool looking game. Yeah, it's a really good looking game. I mean, if you like Dragon Ball at all, it looks just like. The... Carmageddon was awesome. Also, actually, we were t we were just talking about we were Carmageddon. Talking about that yeah, today. yeah. Jacob and I are fans of Carmageddon. I played sure. a lot of that Carmageddon one and two. Yep. I'm not sure what how that may have manipulated my 
Yeah. <laughs> You're dead now, my, too, right? But yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Manipulated my mind or whatever, playing that as a kid. But, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, Good so yeah, so like right now I'm playing Warframe. I think that I don't know. I go away from that game. So and I come I've back heard to quite it. a bit about that. Like that, it's kind of done. Like it's it's changed quite a bit from like the initial like game. The right? initial launch. Yeah, yeah, it is a very different game. In fact, that game. Chime in here, community, because I'm sure there's some community that plays Warframe. Um, it's probably it's got to be like seven, six, six, seven games in one. Because it has so many drastically different modes and features, um, they went into open world like it was kind of you know more of a procedurally generated map, <coughs> kind of a corridor. But now it's like they have these you know a couple vast open worlds, which are really interesting. Um, and if you like co-op shooters, if you like co-op loot-based shooters like a Borderlands or something like that, it definitely filled you know scratches that itch. And you get new content on that game on a weekly basis. Like yeah. every week, there's like a new weapon or a new skin or you know something. And then you know a few months go by and they have a big content dump where they've got yeah, new maps or new characters and all kinds of stuff. We were kind of talking about that earlier. How like you know games that are able to like refresh content quickly are they seem to have a much longer lifespan. You Absolutely. Know? Like we're talking about like. Warframe or even like Fortnite, you know, it's like yep. there's always something new mm -hmm. that are bringing people back to the game. Yep. And you know that, especially with like, so like Warframe is free to play. Yeah. Warframe is free to play. Okay, so especially like for free to play. Games, yeah. You know, you want to have people to come back. And well, they need that because if it's free to play, then you've got no, you've got nothing barring guys just kind of motoring through the content. Yeah. You know, it's either that or then they'll gate it by making it pay to win. You know, where right. you have to actually put money in Warframe. I will be honest, Warframe is pretty much everything in Warframe you can grind out over time. You know, it's more like pay for convenience as opposed to pay to win. Okay. So if you don't want to grind that stuff out, then you can pay for it to get it at an earlier clip. But every, just about everything in that game, you know, you can grind out over time. You might want to, you might have to spend for, like, I think you get a limited amount of, like, character slots. So if you okay. want to have a, a large library of their characters then you might have to spend some money for that. But there's also ways in the game, like, you can trade. So you can, like, you know, you get mods or characters, you can trade that stuff for actual in-game cash from another player and then use that to go buy what you can only buy with in-game cash. So it's an interesting system. It's a very interesting system. And then, again, it's free to play, and they kick out new content all the time, so it stays fresh. All right, guys, you got five more minutes to enter the giveaway. All right, I said a giveaway every hour, and I think we started at like around 7.30, so eh, it's, a, it's almost 8.30, well, at least my time, right? Is that right? Is that what time it is? Yeah. EVG.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Steven, S-T-E-V-E-N. That is the secret word. We're going to give away an EVG X299 dark motherboard, and then right after that, we're going to have another one, because why not? Uh, Kappa, we, we're, we're, both sides are looking into that. Let's we can chat about that more on the forum as it more becomes you know as more information becomes available because I'm gonna be we're gonna be talking about that a little bit more regularly. Am I allowed to type in here yet? It wasn't working before for some reason. Let's see live giveaway. Oh, it worked that time. Oh, wait, no. I don't think it did. <laughs> I don't know why I can't type in here. Anyways, evj.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Steven, S-T-E-V-E-N. That's the secret word. EBJ X299 dark on the board is the giveaway. It's 5.30 a.m. in the west coast of the USA. Yes, yes it is. I still, sh I, I should still be asleep right now. I should, well, I, that's, I'm, if I was back home, I think I would be, Getting ready to leave for work. So I wake like up around seven, yeah. I wake up around five. I leave about five forty-five to head Ooh, out. That's to, early. Yeah, head out to the, try to get there early so I can leave early and beat the traffic. Yeah. Um, CJ CJ Bale CJ Bale, you're right. Premium currency can be made in game too without spending any real money in Warframe. Yep, it's good stuff. 
All right, so sweet. While, we're, sweet. while we're waiting for a few minutes here, let's play some... Rage? You I got Rage 2 on here. You don't want to show me your Mortal Kombat skills? <laughs> <laughs> we can save that for later. Okay. <laughs> Rage is looking really, really good. And yeah. also, I want to say, on air, I was amazed at the the new the new sound card. The new, yeah. new sound card. Yeah, like, new, literally, new card. <laughs> like, literally amazed. I was one of those people who was, you know, kind of feel like we're at a point where onboard mother you know sound on board is pretty strong so it's hearing about a sound card it's like no you're gonna have to be pretty pretty darn exceptional the new sound card a lot of things are it's like you know you don't realize like how good something is until you're like, it's like for it, almost anything you yeah know? absolutely like, you know if you've been playing on like a high-end graphics art, I mean, it's like a night and day difference, and then you go almost... I was just, that was, gonna, that was waiting for you to finish, that was going to be exactly what I was going to do. That's what I mean, that's a situation where you don't really notice, you don't really notice what's what until you go back. You know, you run 120... Oh, Mortal Kombat skills, come on, man. <laughs> So refresh rate is like one of the things, like even for desktop resolution, yep. like I can't go back. Somebody, just just moving and navigating your mouse around the, the you know, around your monitor. Is that you know, you get that, you know, you remove it's the so lag. It's so much smoother. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right, I turned down the sound a little bit, guys. Let me know if that's better. Feel like it's not at the right resolution. It's okay, Kappa, man. you it's good now. you got it, man. No problem. So what FOV? What kind of monitor do you use? I have a, a, a Acer Predator. It's 144 hertz G-Sync. And uh, what FOV? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying about 95. Standby mode initiated. Are you a click to zoom or are you a hold to zoom? Yeah. I'm a hold to zoom. What are you? I, I, I toggle. You toggle? I, I don't know. I can't do it. I'm. I. I'm, 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 that I've yeah that I've kind of brought over to my FPS games. Can you? Is that? Is that any better, guys? Still too loud. Loud still. <laughs> Let me see. It's louder than you. Way too loud still. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Let me see. Oh, why is it? Is that still? Let me see. Still too loud, guys? Much better. <laughs> Actually, this is, we're using a mix board this time, not, a, not headphone splitters like usual. <laughs> there is no sound now.
But it's, it might, for rage, is, it doesn't go up to. Oh, is this monitor? Yeah, it's maxed out. It. Okay, it's either the it. monitor or the capture device that we're using. Okay, that it makes might sense. actually be the capture device that, that we're using. It's maxed out at twenty. But I'll turn off motion blur. Security scanning not available. That's always the trickiest thing with streaming. Yeah, exactly. Especially for girls over here. Yeah. What was it last time? What? Nice. Well. Yeah. We can't hear you. Oh no. You can't hear us talking or you just can't hear us? the game? Any news on Kingpin Water Blocks? You mean this one right here? <laughs> yeah, we'll have some. We'll have stock this week. We'll talk a little bit about that later. Nice. Game sounds too loud. Voice sounds too soft. Like some people say it's good. Some people say, it, and like sometimes you don't know if it's trolling or real. So right, right. <laughs> you guys call it soft. That's good. Are you capping frame rate? Well, mainly capping to. Well, let's try it. I think this game has a lot of tearing though, so let's try it anyways. Does that look like a lot of tearing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Would you? Did you uncap the frame rate? Yeah. You just uncapped it. Security scanning not available. Nearby hostile detected. So one cool thing about this game is it has like. A Like it has like power ups. Yeah, yeah. Was and like abilities. Mm -hmm. So I think there's still somebody here because it didn't pop up and say I killed everyone. Did you? So did you finish it? No. You haven't finished it yet. It's actually a pretty long game. In case you guys didn't know, Rage is like a first person shooter slash car racing game. Systems <laughs> activating. Set in a post apocalyptic yeah. dystopian hellhole. Yep. Oh, wait, that's where I was. Good luck out there. Destination reached. So Personal mic levels are too low now. Can someone go to their IR? Uh, close watch to the street. All nearby hostiles have been pacified. Please approach for security scanning. Turn up the bike mic volume. There security scanning complete. Welcome yep, yep. to ARC. Huge delay. Some folks are still saying some. You might also just have to do it properly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see if that's better, guys. Oh, this might be all the chat. The defibrillation accession is integrated into What game? Rage 2. In the event of lethal damage during combat, it will give you a chance to So, um, I... So, oh, it's time to finish our... Giveaway. Giveaway, I forgot, guys. Alright, the secret word was Steven. STV... That was a secret word. Here's all the people that are up at 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> well, maybe not. Depends where you're. And let's see our winner. Well, I don't know if I can say that live on stream, but I'll say it anyways because it's not technically bad. <laughs> well, if you say it phonetically, if you, you say it won't. It, yeah. If you say it fast, it could be bad. Yeah, it could be. But I'll say it really slow. The, c the user, Twitch user winner of the EVJ X299 Dark Motherboard is the. Listen carefully how I say this, okay? FAC, F A C K, UPS. The <laughs> FAC UPS. The, the FAC <laughs> UPS. Nice. Congratulations, you are the winner of an EVJ X299 Dark Motherboard. Nice. And that ends nice. our giveaway number one. But we still have more. Nice. In fact, I got another EBJ X299 Dark Motherboard to give away. You guys want it? Alright. Yeah, they do. 
So if you guys want to win, epj.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Ace Attack. Ace Attack. Ace Attack. How do you spell that? A S E T E K. Yeah. You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm watching the guys spell it with a U in here for the longest uh, time. The secret word is not case sensitive. Secret word is Ace Attack. A S E T E K. EBJ.com, forward slash live giveaway. We're going to give away another EBJ X299 dark motherboard. Because we love you. Yep. All right, EBGA crew, I need to take my my guys and go get some get some grub. We're hungry. Yep, and he, you're my, on you're on hour late late hour. So. Yep, yep. <laughs> I got my boss hungry over here, so we gotta take care of that. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, man, for joining our stream, and talking to us. Acer Tech. Acer Tech. Don't buy AIOs from Acer Tech. <laughs> A S E T E K. That is how you spell it. It's not Acer Tech. I'm, I'm pretty sure they won't work. So, all right, man. Thanks for joining our stream, chatting with us for a bit. Always a pleasure. And, uh, Absolutely. Hope to have you on again soon. You will. I have and to hold a knife to your throat. Have a good night's sleep <laughs> after today. Long day, man. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, EBJ community. Everyone, thank, say thank you to Sean from Ace Tech. Not Acer Tech, Acer Tech. So now we're gonna bring on the Brazilian Ben Diesel. Okay, here we go again. The next giveaway will be in another hour. How you doing, man? All right, you. Doing good. Well, very good conversation. Yes. Yeah, here. Well, I've learned a lot. You did? Yeah. Like what? And How to spell Ace Attack. <laughs> A-S-E-T-E-K. Yeah, that's right. Okay, there you go. All right, what am I supposed to do here? Use the defibrillator to revive yourself. So how do I do that? Is that mouse I three? got no idea. So, um, oh, A-W. Oh, did I do it? So Ricardo is also known as the Brazilian Vin Diesel. But actually, you live in Brazil, right? Yeah, I do. Lives in Brazil, and he handles all of our Brazil business, business, yeah. you could say. So, uh, for those of you guys who are located in Brazil, um, so I, I want you to speak directly tonight. To, can you say Bom Dia? Bom, huh? Bom Dia. Bom Dia. Yeah. So Bom Dia, everyone, down in Brazil. What's that mean? Bom dia, good morning. Oh, okay. So good morning. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing this right. Three, two, one. A W. Okay. What am I doing wrong? I should not be. Uh, EBJ.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Ace Attack. That is a secret word. I'm totally doing something wrong. What about W A? I, well, I was a negative person. Have you played this game? Hey, tell this us, tell us what to do here. Yes, I got no clue. <laughs> I, don't know. I feel like I'm doing it right. It's like a yeah. You're pressing those. Oh, it has to be inside the circle. Okay, hold on. Oh, I think I did it wrong. Okay, I did it wrong. I think it's better now. Is the audio good now, guys? Did you get us yeah. some um, some crazy chips from down there? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do it, man. You want the squid Doritos? Uh, oh, I did it, I did it. Okay. Uh, Ricardo, Ricardo said he wants the squid Doritos, please. Is that yeah. a challenge? Every time he loses a battle, he has to <laughs> yes. eat the squid chip? Yeah. <laughs> it feels like. Yes. I feel like we should have run the bean boozle. The bean boozle. Uh, the secret word is Ace Attack. A S E T E K. Okay. So, we're giving away uh, X299 dark IBS. And, uh, you know, you guys just talked about the SR3 earlier today. And, you know, I, I got shocked like people looking at it and trying to figure out how powerful that could be. When you expect you to have like numbers and some benchmark on that. Still working that out. I think probably like uh, around closer to July, 
Type the word in chat, please. I uh, somehow okay. cannot do it for some reason. EBJ.com forward slash live giveaway to sequel is Ace Attack. Yeah. Well, did that guy just disappear? Yeah. So I want to talk about this also. So this is the 2080 Ti Kingpin Hydrocopper. Also something heavy that I don't want to drop. <laughs> so uh, this, yeah. is, this is the Hydrocopper water block for the 2080 Ti Kingpin Edition. So one of the cool things about this is it still retains the OLED up here. Mm. So uh, you can still get all the OLED functionality on the Kingpin card. Um, so this is going to be available as a set as separately as an accessory. Wow. Hold down control and Dr. tap space. So you can make something perfect even better with this hydrocopper. Yes. That's if awesome. that was a thing, yes. <laughs> um, so, Ricardo, you play a lot of Battlefield, right? Yeah, I do. You still playing? Um, not so much lately. When you have time? <laughs> yeah, whenever I got time, I do play a lot of Battlefield. Um, Anything I, else? Wow. Well, you know, Street like Fighter sometimes. Really? Street, sometimes. Street Fighter Five. Yeah. Uh, I remember last last time I came over here, I was kicking this guy's ass. So what he did, he removed this from the computer. So, <laughs> and he and he stole Mortal Kombat because that's the only thing he can win me on. I think he's right. Uh, you know, <laughs> and I got short notice. Uh, I said, "Hey, we're going live." I said, "Hey, what we got to play? Mortal Kombat." Said, oh, seriously, what about Street Fighter? So we can make it, you know. Ballast. and the guy uh, oh sorry I, I don't have that <laughs> okay so, we can install Street Fighter as well uh, yeah. sorry we're out of disk space yeah. Uh, yeah no more disk space uh, go yeah, find I, me I, if you find me another SSD we can install it <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome uh, yeah I've been playing a ton of Mortal Kombat I mean that's pretty much the game I've been playing the most lately so and, I, and I've heard that Kingpin also plays a lot of Mortal Kombat, and I really want to put that on one of these days. And to get one of these days as well. Wow. I want to see that. Because I'm completely blue of Mortal Kombat. I just, I'm just pressing buttons. I, I don't That's know That's kind of like doing. how I am at Street Fighter. I don't know. It's like uh, I, Me I, too, but it works somehow. <laughs> okay. I, it doesn't work I in can't even play and all that. It doesn't work in NK though? Yeah, not really. More like you, you gotta know what you're doing, kind of game. But it was uh, a awesome. Oh, see? Oh, very good. Okay, we got water. We got water here. I just saw the hydro bot. So yeah, it reminding it, us. It to reminded have me that I needed to have. Turn a twin. I needed to have more water. Is this one? Yeah, it's a family mark. Be prepared for most of Okay, you will. <laughs> Well, I know. I already been here. I think. So, any other first-person shooters that you guys that you play? Like, do you play Call of Duty or any of those? Uh, not so much Call of Duty, but um, I've been playing a lot of The Division Two. Yeah. Uh, it's a gigantic game. I never get get yeah, what is it? I I play it with a couple of friends in Brazil, and. Yeah, man, that's uh, that's about it. I, I like I like race games too. Uh, dirty, all, all all the series. It's awesome. Ready. What what uh, what racing game? Uh, since Dirt Two, all the way up to right now. Yeah. So, yeah, I like uh, the type of like rally. Uh, okay. Yeah. Races. Yeah, I'm never good at this. 
I like playing them, but I'm so bad at them. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's what he doesn't care. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I cannot cheat. <clears throat> God, that's awesome. So in case you guys missed it, we are giving away an EVJ X299 Dark Motherboard. So if you want to win, EVJ.com forward slash live. Give away the secret word is Ace Attack. So it is. So you've been to Computex quite a few times. Yeah, I believe it's my fourth time. Fourth now. time, okay. Yeah. I, I was trying to figure out how many times I've been to Computex, and I, I don't know. Ah, uh, since we're born, man. I don't know. Even before I joined the team, eight years ago, I was like, I knew you guys were coming out here. Yeah. Every year. So, so what's, uh, what kind of things do you like in Taiwan? Do you like food? Uh, some. Some food, yes. Some other, you know, it's always a different experience when someone brings something new. I just had, like, believe it or not, KFC hamburger yes. with peanut butter yes. on it. I didn't know. I Are was, you sure that's peanut butter? I'm 100% about <laughs> okay. it. So we, we, we ordered KFC, and it's like a it's like a chicken hamburger. Yeah. And the one that he got had peanut butter on it. Yeah, we had like, we were three people. Uh, I don't know why my day Because they're lucky. <laughs> 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 I didn't have any You know, the guy told me, hey, we got a recipe on this one. I said, oh, we're going to maybe uh, it's gonna spicy or something. But actually, it had peanut butter. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I ate it. It was not like, oh, it but it was not the end of the world. Was it good though? Uh, no. <laughs> but I made a sacrifice for the team. Yes. And, uh, hey, well, I'm glad it was I'm you that got the peanut butter. Get you up the place. <laughs> yeah, this guy, so, kind of like, new recipe. Peanut butter. Uh, I, I, and this is Rage 2. Yeah. And I, I, I thought I... So peanut, peanut butter, butter on his. But it's always something new. So peanut butter chicken burger, good. I think I think you came to the conclusion that a peanut butter chicken burger is not actually that good. Yeah, unless you're really juicy. addicted to peanut butter. So this is kind of funny. Like I was shooting everybody downstairs, right? And like, the guy's just standing there. Yeah, like this guy's upstairs. Like he didn't even hear me. Wow. How could you not That's hear a, all that racket going on? Nice. We don't want to run the potato for you. Whoa. Peanut butter chicken burger. Whoa. Yeah. Somebody uh, said stream dying. Okay, that is how he, yeah. Is it lagging so much yet? Please let us know. In case you missed it again, evj.com forward slash live giveaway secret word is attack. We're giving away an EBJ X299 Dark Motherboard. Our second oh. during our special Computex live stream. Whoa. And, uh, hey, is there anyone from Brazil? I want to see you guys here. Uh, you can come in anywhere. YouTube, Twitch, just let us know. And, uh, remind me, and what time is it in Brazil now? I, I think it's about 10 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Um, there yeah. should be a lot of people, I'm saying. Yeah. Better than our California story. Yeah. Damn, there's a lot of... <laughs> See, you were just complaining about TV too easy. Yeah, I have a hard time. I only want it to be easy when I say it. <laughs> I want the hard parts to be easy and the easy parts to be easy. There's like 10 to 8. I feel like I'm doing it. I think I'm 
Yeah, they never ending. I'm gonna throw every grenade I have. Just like Mad Max. Yeah, kind of, huh? Kind of yeah. has like that aesthetic. Yeah. It looks. It's. It's a lot different than the, than the other ratio. Yeah, I don't know why that doesn't auto scroll down. Um, it's. It's a lot different than. AM in Chicago. Anybody from Brazil in there? Questions about the Kingpin edition, about the X guy, as well as the uh, the water block. Here. No questions. Let us know your questions. We might answer. So, what do you think about this board? I could match it, maybe. Yeah. Super happy. <laughs> it's gigantic. Definitely. It's a good pump. Yeah. Doing crossfit or something. That's a, definitely your a crossfitter motorboard, I want to say. It's badass. Yeah. That design. I, I, I don't know. It's really good. Just more detail, but uh, going to Team BGA and basically all social media, right? You got tons of pictures and uh, also the press has been like chasing yeah. this piece over here. It's and been it's been quite good. So really excited to bring this board to market. It's something unique. It's something pretty unique. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. And thanks for the chance of dropping this. Yes. Even though I missed that <laughs> shot, I will just get it. Right. No problem. Always <laughs> there for you. So I think I eliminated everyone. At least I feel like I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UBJ.com, four test live giveaway, secret word, ace A-S-E-T-E-K. Let's see if I can type now. Right on. I reboot I restarted this chat. Live giveaway. Uh, did it work? Oh it worked! Okay, here we go. I think it worked. Did you guys see my my link on there? Can you guys check the link? Secret Wars Ace Attack. So, who am I missing? There's somebody here still, probably. Okay. Bring back yeah, some members of Max 58 and 8800 SLI. I had an 8800 SLI. Oh, 8800 GTX. I found them. Uh, How many okay. bullets did that take? <laughs> yeah. That was like. That was, that was. I had to reload, I think. So that was like. That was like 40 bullets, I think. Wow.
What time is it there? Uh, here's how you spell it. I will put it in the chat now that I can type. Secret word is East. A S E. Did I spell that right? Yes. Is there something that can allow this to auto scroll? Like, I don't know why it's not auto scrolling. Is that the Jacob F we see on the forums? Yes. That would be me. How's it going? Save Jacob. <laughs> There's only one Jacob. <laughs> yes. There should be more. There should for be. Amount, for the amount of... Uh, there should be. Uh, should, should be. Duties you got to perform. There's clones of me. There should be more. So someone asked what time is it right now? Over here. So it's 9, 9 p.m. Yep. So we're going to go for like another hour or so, I think. So ubg.com forward slash live giveaway secret word is Ace Attack. Let's see if I can fix this chat. Thing. I'm going to open it in another. See you guys float in the chat. I'm gonna put both of them. We'll see. If <laughs> yes, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. here in Taiwan. <laughs> it's 9 a.m. here. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, you sent me a swag back in the day for a. BIOS glitch yep. on that X54. Do you have an age of day? Been ten years now. <laughs> that's, good. that's good to hear. Yeah, I don't. I don't right feel. Right. I don't. I don't feel like I have an age. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Too young inside. Just like. Uh, how do I get down from here? <laughs> hey, you guys, gotta help us. Where am I? You completely noobs, as you can see. Where? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Whoops! Uh, I forgot. This is an apex. Uh, oh, yeah. Apex has ruined me. I feel like I can jump off any ledge now and not die. Yeah, there's some static sound. I apologize for that. Our team is working to fix it. This car is called the Roller. Roller. What? Whoa! What did it do? Guess what I got for you. Alright. Okay. Special okay. delivery. <laughs> you found. Of course, it, is this from 7 Eleven? This is 7 Eleven, just like home. Genuine. <laughs> we got 7 Eleven dogs. This is a Taiwan. And this, wait, wait, wait. and this is for the Brazilian Vin Diesel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's okay. So cool. I so, like it. I'm going to show you guys. Big bite. So these are for you. Whenever wow. Jacob loses, he has to drink one of those. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get so much of these. <laughs> what is this? Oh, ketchup. And just so you can wash it down. Oh. oh okay. That's what we were talking. <laughs> Thank you. It's auto scrolling. Yeah, Freeman. It when, is? when we left the U.S., what were you not going to drink? Sodas. See. <laughs> Which one in particular? Monster or Mountain Dew? <laughs> no. I don't know. Your favorite drink here? Oh, the Citra. <laughs> yes. Happy ah. so you have to drink one. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. By the way, if you guys haven't had this, this is called Apple Citra. And I don't know if you can get it anywhere else other than Taiwan, but it is like really good. It's an apple soda. It's really good. It's good. So, for all of you guys who've never been to Taiwan, come to Taiwan, drink this soda, and then, yeah. You can go home. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So this one's for Jacob whenever Barbosa yeah. loses. Whenever I win, or whenever I lose. When you lose, 
So, okay, what is it? What does this say? Yeah, please help us. What? Uh, it's well, it's shrimp. Shrimp? Shrimp? Yeah, it's nice shrimp. This is a Lay's shrimp. Lay's shrimp. Shrimp flavor. Look at. It. <laughs> Those are shrimps. And also, this is called Thai style shrimp. <laughs> Thai style. <laughs> Thai style. Oh, we love Thai. Thai style. Yeah, yeah. Thai food is good. <laughs> Thai, Thai style is good here. <laughs> Should be a good combination. <laughs> okay. All right. Next. Wow. This is spicy. Spicy. Very, spicy. very spicy. No. So you have your spicy Very, chips, very spicy, he says. Your apple cedar to wash it down. Okay. Yeah. And a Red Bull. So, <laughs> I, I don't know why you guys, back in California. Okay, this one on love, well this one. You love spicy food, right? Yeah. You do too, right? I, yeah. I But not, I'm not so hardcore as you guys. Toast. Isn't there making keyboards now? You ever make a game pad? Like this is the Taiwan 7 Eleven dog. The it's spicy dog was not ready cooked, so we couldn't get you that. <laughs> <laughs> this it tastes. Was, it was on the back burner. This tastes a lot different than the 7 Eleven dog in the United States, let me just tell you. <laughs> Here's a good question uh, Do you recommend playing first rage before playing? The Rage 2? Nah. Not really, right? I haven't played the first one either. Honestly, I really didn't care too much for the first one. Well, I don't want to say I didn't care for it. I thought the game was okay. In the yeah, time. it just passed but me it, by. It, it, it wasn't one of id software's best, in my opinion. It, was, it wasn't but catchy. I think Rage 2 is actually quite good. It's a lot better, in my opinion. Did you hear this on the stream? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and now I can stream an extra four hours. Yes. <clears throat> dog. Yeah, a hot dog. Explain the difference between... He is... The difference between your different power supply models besides being the best, better, best. Okay. So today we have G3 series. I think you guys are pretty familiar with G3. We're going to have a new uh, model called G5. It's going to be one step above the G3. A little bit more efficient. It's also going to have an LED on the back. Um, it's still going to have the eco mode. <coughs> and then, what is that? Yeah, okay. Now right. it's getting weird. A little, little special something to do some cheers. First one to finish it wins. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> we'll, we'll discuss that after. You, you have to tell us what it tastes like. Okay, cheers. All right, cheers. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, down the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, what was it? Yeah, he cheated. You, you, yeah, you like tea. Peter did right, last time. You right? like tea, right? Come on, man. I wouldn't like that. This whole thing. No, no, it's tea. Like tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. See? Easy. Taiwan tea. Okay, it's good. Taiwan tea. Okay. All right. Fooled you guys. You guys got scared for this? Ah, yeah. So where was it? Oh, the G5. Okay, so the G5 is a little bit upgraded over the G3 in terms of efficiency. It also has an LED. And then the G7 is going to be the most efficient and also a lot smaller power supply. Mm -hmm. So if you care about space, then you definitely want to look at the G7. But um, honestly, the G5 and G3 will both be great. Absolutely. <coughs> uh, all right. You ready to play something else? You ready for MK? Let's do it. I want to taste all of these. <laughs> Alright. I got no idea what it is. Let's mm. go. <clears throat> wow. Ketchup. EBJ yeah. drunk stream for the win. Actually, it was non alcoholic tea, as far as I know. As far yeah. as I know, it was non alcoholic tea. As far as I'm <laughs> concerned. <clears throat> So how many got? Let's see. Uh, in case you guys missed it, EBJ.com forward slash live giveaway. Secret word. Ace attack. We yes. have about another 20 minutes before we pick the winner for another EBJ X299 motherboard. Dark. X299 wow, wow, wow. dark. 
So tell me the story about Brazilian Vin Diesel. How did the Brazilian Vin Diesel come to fruition? You know, this legend was born here, in this very same place, <laughs> a couple of years ago. When I, came, when I first, first came to Taipei, and for some reason, there were some, a lot of Brazilians watching, and uh, I, I believe there was some kind There's of release, uh, Fast and Furious or something, and you know, that just came up. I could, I could have had it. Uh, but it's it's funny because even I, I don't stream like usually when I'm back in Brazil, but whenever I go to fairs like Brazil Game Show, and there's always someone that, hey, you are the Brazilian Fantasia, remember the streaming? Family? Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say, That's hey man, good, I appreciate that. That's I, really I, good. I feel like famous. <laughs> <laughs> Where that happened at like what Brazil Game Show? Brazil Game Show <laughs> a couple of times, <clears throat> and uh, I was at any videos. Uh, it is not case sensitive, a secret word. Acetec, A S E T E K. And there, there's, um, there was a prize event for at any video. And one of the guys covering, uh, hey, hey, I know you from the streaming from Taiwan. I was watching it. You were the Brazilian Vin Diesel. <laughs> and the guy ended up working with us uh, at Brazil Game Show. Wow. Tom, yeah, the, the, the guy is awesome. And uh, it, that that was, uh, you know, I was like, hey, it's it's the last thing, like, it's a, uh, it got me, you know, but it, it's, uh, but I was here, and I was sitting right there, maybe on that chair. It was all, it was born here, the Brazilian Vin Diesel. Yeah, <laughs> that's when the land magic came right. to life. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, we can actually hear with this, I think. Uh, yeah. Hello. <clears throat> okay. Actually, I can't hear it. You can't? No. I can't. Oh, now I can. Okay, let's do it. Let us, let us know how the sound is, guys. <clears throat> All right. So, press A or something? The rock Oh, no, it didn't work. This happened once before. Try it again. Press A. Okay, there you go. Cassie Cage. Okay, so guys. Zero. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a secret. I only know how to play one character in this whole game. So after this, then uh, I think I'll switch to a non-character. I say you should have to like pick a different character. <laughs> Yeah, I should. Shaolin Trap Dungeon. Yeah, I, I should pick at least one. I know. I'll find so here's what we're gonna do. After this round, we will let the chat decide. What twenty eight TI card you have? You may battle for one. No, you'd say some shit. No, we're not. I'm still playing on ten eight TI. We're doing great. Back at home. Oh man, like oh, that is that easy. <laughs> I'm barely came. Oh, nice. Love it. Finish 
God damn it, just too fast. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, too late, bro. No can do. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, right, so I'm gonna try something. I got okay, creamy soy sauce. Oh, you should have picked the ketchup. <laughs> nah. No, 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 no. We don't do it. Okay, well, let's, 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 next one, next one. Next one? Okay. Yes, next one. I'm gonna pick. That. Who should I pick in the stream? Oh. You guys put somebody random. I'm, just, I'm gonna pick them. Okay, I. Give me some tips, guys. Scorpio, so it's a classic. It's a classic. Scorpio. <laughs> Who should I pick, or should I just do the random? Or is it, what's the button for a random? Uh, oh, the guy's from Argentina. Buenos dias. EBJ.com for chess live giveaway. Secret word is Asetek. A S E T E K. Kotal Khan. Okay. Kotal Khan. Somebody I absolutely know nothing about. Please. I hope he's not like overpowered or something. Eh, I don't think so. Yeah, but he figured it out fast. Round one. Fight. Thank you for the suggestion, Round guys. Fight. Where'd it work? Uh, That's man, a good I move. I can't block that. It's almost too strong. Sorry, I'm gonna let you. Oh no! Somebody else again. Uh, somebody from the chat say somebody. So, so brand new, yes. A stack. A S E T E K. Correct. Uh, somebody said your audio. Let us know who. The mic audio or the game no, audio? Mic audio. Game audio is good. Uh, Maybe it's too sensitive. I can't really change it yeah. here. <coughs> random. How do I do random? Random select. Come on, pick yes. Cassie. Uh. <laughs> 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 Alright, there we go. Garrus. He uh. seems to be badass. Uh, there's some good players. Turn 
still have soy sauce to taste in the mouth. How was that? I like soy sauce, but by itself, Round one. it's not very good. Fight. Is it better than bean boozle? Uh, maybe. It depends on the bean that you get on bean boozle. Look at this guy. Guys overpowered! That? No! <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Was cool. uh, I'm just, you know, why I went so so trading so many excuses. <laughs> I don't know how to play. How did I do that sand thing? That's awesome. I, I, I think I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, come on. Oh, that's a good move right there. I like that. I'm, like, I'm liking that. Take this one, Nat. Oh. Maybe I'm going to learn how to play, play this guy. Oh. I like it. I always do that. I always do the same move. <laughs> over and over. I keep wondering, oh, wait. You just mash the same button over and over. It works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. No! Oh. Oh yes, no! That's it. <laughs> oh. You're done. Round timing. Done. All right, see you guys. Oh. All right, you know I gotta do this. <laughs> Let's see how he goes. Let's see if I can do it. Back down, down A. Oh, that's it. Done. Bean boozle time. Oh. Fatality. Think you're dead. Yes. Yeah. Wait, more. Think you're dead. Hmm. All right. Now it's your turn. Okay. Yeah. Catch up. Too easy. Gonna do the oh. same. Now I gotta pick a new fighter. Should I do? Uh, should I do? Uh, random again? Random again. Okay. Please oh. pick Cassie. Please, Cassie. No! <laughs> I I know nothing of the war. That's gross, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Let's go, Jade. I don't want to lose again. How's the shrimp potato chips? Not any yet. We haven't gotten there yet. Uh, we got there yet. <coughs> Sarai, Rai, you uh, we got about ten more minutes, guys. Evj.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Asetek. A S E T E K. Make the loser of this round has to eat a couple of the uh, shrimp potato chips. All right, loser has to eat the shrimp potato chips. Shrimp potato chips. Go for it. The Taiwan 7-Eleven special. Thai. Thai shrimp. Round one. Fight. Somebody says shrimp potato chips aren't bad. I hope you're right. It should not be. Learned how to do the wiggly stick moves. <laughs> like dinner stuff. Am I the only one who tries to adapt like Street Fighter moves <laughs> into Probably. Mortal Kombat and fail? Oh, oh. oh Spider-Man right there. Use your arms. Oh, come on, you got two arms. Why can't you use the uppercut? Why do you gotta use your wing thing? Ah, oh, come uh, on. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who's down. <laughs> I would lose on purpose just to gain the chips. <laughs> just to try it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, this uppercut's horrible over there. Not much excuse. Oh. Find you for the match. Oh. 
Something else too. Yeah. Here, Joe, have one. No, thank you. <laughs> Our crew okay, is. I, I had a really big dinner. Yelling, so. they didn't want to eat so bad, so. Guys. Did you tell them about the recipe on your uh, dinner? Yes. Yeah, you went over. We had that? a very good conversation about uh, food and I, me, feeling like I was VIP <clears throat> for having the new recipe. <laughs> That hour, that lovely. EBJ.com forecast live giveaway secret word is Spin. Ace Attack. You have five minutes left. Next loser gets the spicy chip. No, the winner gets okay. the spicy chip. Oh, the winner gets the spicy chip. Yeah. Right, we gotta switch it here. Let's see who's one. gonna cry first. Cassie! Yes. No. Oh, Garrus again? Can I pick somebody else? I already picked him. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 good. Another random. Sub-Zero. Oh! Sub-Zero. No way I'm gonna win this one. I don't know. I don't play Sub-Zero. Come on. He only plays one character. I only play one character. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't know how to play it. He plays it every day at the end of his lunch period. So I play it every day. <laughs> Literally. Zamora? I kind of... Or not Zamora. Or not Zamora. Um... Sure. Scarlet. Okay. Oh, she could pretty good. Oh, no. oh, nice. I like it. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Oh. That's the worst part. What? <laughs> that one hurts. Come on. There you go, Cap. What? Is that blue? Oh, got it. No. <laughs> no way it's going to this one. Not going to happen. Oh, close. Oh. Yeah. In your wow. face. Wow. He didn't see that coming. That was good. Close. Round two. Fight. Round two. Let's see how we go. I got 
blood on my side, I think. Same, you know, these guys are, you know. Potato chips or CPU chips? <laughs> Not even that. Classic red versus blue. Yeah, this one's gonna be awesome. Even though I'm it. Back, forward, back, wide. Got it. I'll have my spicy chip now. Super spicy. That's a nice view to have a view. Brazilian Vin Diesel, I need your muscles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, that worked. This one's good. This one's pretty good. Let's try this. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. try one. It's pretty good. Thank you for kindness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's pretty good. All okay. right, like two minutes left. EPG.com forward slash live giveaway. Secret words, Ace Attack. Okay, one more match, and then after this, we pick a winner. Good luck, guys. Because I don't. I don't Chicken have. Brando. Jax. 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 Jackie Briggs. Jax versus Jackie Briggs. Two. How late are you streaming? I don't know. Another hour, right? That's not right. Maybe two hours. Huh? What time did you start? Like 7.30? Yeah, so two hours now. We are at the two hour mark. Don't have time for a wreck. <clears throat> Listen up, Jacqueline. So this is a little bit kind of sadistic because this is actually uh, dad versus daughter. So we're not going to do any fatalities here. <laughs> no daddy issues. Wait, how come I can't? Oh, wait. Oh my goodness. I like. Whoa! This is like Chung Lee. Did you see that kick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh! No! Duh. I feel like stupid. <clears throat> pain no gain. Fight. Just kicking. <laughs> Take this. Take that. Take, 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 uh -oh. take, take. Uh -oh. Yeah. Please. Oh, 
Love that. Let's go for it, Jacob. Bam. Bam. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. XXX Subsonic XX. Congratulations, you have won an EBJ X299 Dark Motherboard. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations to the winner. We're still not done. We got one more to give away. Wow. Enjoy, guys. Drinks on me, Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's a weekend match. You ready? Uh, you want to play something else now? You said the rules, sir. Where'd our Where'd our little uh, operator go? Wow. Where'd our, our uh, team just our operator just be the operator's gone? <clears throat> His time shift is done. What's making that loud noise? All right, I'm gonna switch this really quick. Be right back. Okay. Well, let me just try it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna run a couple tests here. Uh, let us know how the audio is going right now. Okay, I'm back. So let's try something else now. He did one. He did my. See if this works. Yeah, it's gonna be. This is another story now. Glad it's actually someone in chat. Coconut berry Red Bull. I haven't tried that. I haven't tried it either. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Subsonic. He was the winner. All right. We have one final giveaway, guys, for today. We're gonna give away another EPJ X299 Dark motherboard. Again, thank you all for tuning in and joining our three hour live stream. We're gonna stream for about another hour or so, and then we'll give away the final EPJ X299 Dark motherboard. So here's how you can win. Go to ebj.com forward slash live giveaway. Let's see if I can put this in the chat ebj.com forward slash giveaway. Did it work this time? Did it work this time? <clears throat> Alright, ebj.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Computex. That is C O M P U T E X. Alright? Computex is the secret word. For some reason I can't type in the chat. Yeah, last time I was in the Final uh, giveaway. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's 
left. <clears throat> so still a whole another day tomorrow. Yes. And by our suite you can see uh, you know fully loaded system with the uh, kingpin. Yep. Running over there. On the Z390 Dark, right? Yeah, Z390. Motherboard. We also have new audio. And which game are we running over there? Uh, that one we're running Hellblade. Mm -hmm. So, um, Hellblade is a game which has pretty good audio. So, it makes a good demo for the audio card. <coughs> um, so, we have Hellblade on that one with some nice headphones. And uh, we also have Rage on that machine also. Which also is pretty good. Yeah, it's awesome. Have you guys been there all day? Uh, where? Like here? Well, not here. But not playing, but... Is a normal Friday stream off this week or still happening? That, I am not 100% certain, to be honest. Um, you just have to stay tuned to see if that's going to happen or not. But... You still have a chance to get in on the final giveaway that we have today. Another EBJ X299 Dark Motherboard. So EBJ.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Computex. That is the secret word. <coughs> oh, I don't have the latest. Play in Battlefield. Well, which one? Did you play Firestorm at all? No, not really. Just oh, well, yeah. But well, we can play Firestorm. Well, I'm not sure you do. So let's see. You play Conquest? Yeah, dude. <clears throat> let's try. Let's try it out. Play. All right. It's your turn. Conquest. Your time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. The Golden Conquest mode is to capture and hold the These are identified as flags. The Brazilian and Vin Diesel get on the action In here. order to secure victory, you must lead the enemy teams <coughs> to see. Oh, Do this by holding the majority of the flags and eliminating enemy support. Oh, the Kingpin water block. Okay, so let's see. Let me see. Let me have that drink over here. <laughs> Oh, we need to switch the... My bad. Hold on. See, he doesn't want me to shine. <laughs> so Here jealous. We there we go. <clears throat> Did it find a server? Bad yeah. All right. So here is the uh, GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Kingpin water block here. So, um... You can see that uh, one of the things on the design is we kept the OLED. So actually this will ship with the OLED screen on it. You don't have to take off the old one at all. You just plug that one in. Kind of retain the copper look of the Kingpin card on there as well. <coughs> and pretty much other than that, it's pretty standard as far as EVJ water blocks go. Um, but uh, it looks pretty awesome. It's kind of hard to convey on video, but it fits nicely with the theme of the card. Here's the backside of the water block. Uh, availability is going to be this week, probably within the next two days or so. You can barely see it. Yes. First enemy soldier eliminated. Ah. This is the. Oh, Good show. Part. Objective people taken.
quest. Get him! Brazilian Vin Diesel, get him! Tweak a little bit more. Let me know if that guy is better, guys. He's lit as hell. And I apologize for. How many kills have you gotten already? I think three only. Wow. Five or nine. That's pretty good. Do you guys hear any sounds of anything? Is it done? <coughs> I hear anything. Oh, you don't hear it? No. Huh. Oh, no game. Maybe I lowered it too much. How about now? You hear it now? Yeah, yeah. Go and get down. So, you guys, uh, your team is doing uh, it's pretty close. You guys are doing good, though. You almost captured four bases. Get them. Oh, done. Too many. I got Done deal. Three three kills already. That's pretty good. That's much better uh, than I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> it's much better than I usually do. It's almost gonna be EVJ's twenty year twentieth year anniversary. How many of you guys have been following EVJ for twenty years? A long time. Um, I'm not even twenty years old. I'm just kidding. I don't think anyone fell for that. What's the giveaway for? It's a new, new giveaway for an EVJ X299 Dark Month board. <clears throat> so the uh, 20th year anniversary, we are we are preparing something pretty awesome that I don't want to talk too much about yet, but <clears throat> but uh, about mid July, you uh, definitely want to keep an eye on the EVJ social account and stuff for more information on what we're going to be. 20th year anniversary, but it's going to be pretty awesome. <clears throat> Farm join date. Bloody January 23rd, 2002. Wow. Stay alert. Objective Charlie has lost. All of the Marvel, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Not Friday, what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> we are having a special Computex live stream. We still have a chance to win. We still have a chance to win. So we are going to be streaming for like another 45 minutes or so. And uh, if you want to win, evj.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Computex. We're going to give away an EVJ X299 Dark Motherboard. Let's take it, let's take it, let's take it guys. Now. 20 years of crushing the competition. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Let's go see you guys. 
Have you played like all the battlefields? Like since when was your first battlefield game? The first one was Battlefield 3 actually. Okay. And since then, even the hardline one I played for a little yeah. bit. I didn't really like hardline that much. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was was a sick game. Uh, mine was I played a ton of Battlefield 2. I played a little bit of Battlefield 1942, but not that much. It wasn't really until Battlefield 2 that I really started playing. 2142 I was kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. Feels but, like uh, BF3, big time. Hell yeah, that was BF3. four like crazy. Like, Why do you stuff. use a controller on PC? Who's using a controller? <laughs> <laughs> There's no controllers being used here. Come see that. Can you like FPS no. on a controller? Yeah. No way. I've tried before and it's just like I can't I just can't adjust to it. Bad company too. Oh I played a lot of bad company too. Yeah, bad company, actually, bad company, bad company. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Hardline, I remember they had a game mode, what was it called The Wire or something like that? Yeah, there was like the rush. And that one was actually that one was actually kinda of neat. I forgot, I forgot, was, is that what it was called? The Wire? How do I remember? Is that, if I'm right, like how did, how did I remember that? This <laughs> guy's <laughs> doing nothing here. Come on. I would love to see a bad guy. I I thought bad. Bad Company 2 was like the first game that I remember that had like really the like crazy description and stuff in the games, which was yeah, that was which was like no, at the time nothing was doing that, so it was like pretty impressive. I don't remember. No, I'm thinking of something else. I remember the that bad that uh, Hardline did have a, a pretty interesting game mode. controller for everything on PC. Really? Even wow. first person shooting? Wow. Yeah. I commend you, man. I can't get used to the controller. I've tried. Yeah, super. Yeah, super. It's hard to get used to. I've tried a couple times. Like, for well, games, yes. Uh, I think I played, I really tried, like, the first Halo. Because the first Halo wasn't on PC, at least initially. Yeah. So, like, I really tried to play that on Xbox Jossie or whatever. And I was like, man, I gave up. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. Horrible, man. Even What's the difference between blue and brown switches? So the blue switches give you a more clicky. So all that clicking that you're probably hearing picked up on the mic, that's a blue switch. Brown switches are still give you the uh, mechanical feel, but uh, they don't have the... He started off strong. Oh, you're good. Okay. Oh, got it. I kind of like would like to learn how to play first-person shooters on a controller though, because I think it's like for like couch gaming, it's, it could be kind of comfortable, but <laughs> I just can't do it. No can do. Uh oh. A. Go to A. Go to A. Okay. Man, what a shame. 
catch something. I hate it. Wow, you're, you're, yeah. Your team is uh, falling apart. Yeah. Brown switches are, are good. I um I prefer brown switches personally, but everyone's kind of has their own. But uh, I've been hearing that black switches are becoming more popular. I actually haven't tried black switches. Oh. What happened? You got killed by a rock. The hot shot. <laughs> was... I can't. I cannot even snipe. Or but some people make it so easy. Halfway there, but we are losing oh, yeah, this. In terms of the switches, I mean, the theory, tail, whatever. Honestly, I can't really. For me personally, I can't really. See a big difference between the different manufacturers. On our keyboards we use Kale, which are good for me. Very good. But I've, I've used different ones. I have a uh, keyboard at home that's a cherry red. And you know what? I used to like the reds, and then after using the browns a lot, I don't really like reds anymore. They're not good for typing. Like, I think they're probably yeah. probably okay for gaming, but for typing and stuff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, they they don't they feel too uh, too soft. Did you do the giveaway yet? We're doing one right now. Yes, evj.com forward slash live giveaway. Secret word is Computex. Still got a chance to win the EBJ X299 Dark Motherboard that we will be giving away in maybe 30 minutes or so. And that's going to end our Computex stream after that. There you go. Okay. Coming back. Now it's on. Radoc is on. He's awoken. Brazilian King Diesel has been awoken. Although I have heard of people who do, but I don't know how they do that. <laughs> yeah, that's... <coughs> yeah, some of stuff that I made for the past. There you go. Oh. Oh, oh you're nice, still good. Nice, That's a Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Can you be revived again if you die twice? Yes, I can shoot you out. There's a certain period of time, like... After a certain... Yeah, yeah. Like after 10 seconds. Like after. Right. <clears throat> Are you good at flying any of the, like, helicopters or planes or anything? There's some guys... Are you, like, one of those pro guys with those crazy tricks? Like, Absolutely not. <laughs> I failed. I barely can't take I see guys that are flying those things, especially, like, in Battlefield 4, when there's like helicopters and stuff, like, man, there's some horrible people on that. Yeah, especially, I think it always started with uh, Battlefield 3, I want to say. There's awesome, like, people going around the beach and, uh, and doing all kind of crazy. Yeah. You know, just running over you with an airplane. Like, yeah. <laughs> and I was super pissed. <laughs> and and when I, I used to watch on you know, YouTube, like everyone doing, you know, every day, this guy. Somebody asked, is it pronounced Evga or EVGA? I assume that's what you're saying. It is pronounced E V G A. Yeah, like you spawn. Uh oh, nowhere to spawn. Okay, got suppressed. Nice. 
I noticed you like, uh, are you going prone or are you ducking? Grenade, take that! So like when you're when you're when you start shooting, I notice you go prone. Are you or, or are you ducking? on Battlefield 5 versus like uh did you play Battlefield 1? Yeah I did. I what do you think about BF five versus BF one? I believe BF five is is so much better in so many ways. Yeah. Especially I, I wanna say first, you know, Battlefield One is good, graphics it's awesome. But um Battlefield five is more dynamic. You have the range of guns you have in the vehicles make it more um, like a super action game yeah. back again, which uh, I, I don't know. Maybe it was I. I wasn't getting along with uh, the guns. And, uh, for one, and it feels like slow. So for some reason, like the game was taking forever. Conquest, it didn't have much action mm -hmm. in my opinion. But it was still. I played a lot. I felt like it was a lot, it's like a sniper, I just noticed yeah, that, like there was a lot of snipers game. in that game. Yeah. That was a little bit annoying sometimes. I don't know if it was just the maps that I was on usually, or yeah, it's just, the one, the desert it just seemed like there was tons of snipers everywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> but definitely, you know, nothing like Battlefield 4, I want to say. Yeah, which I like. Oof. I think I played. Oh, I, I like this map. I think oh, Battlefield. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. I think uh, out of all the battlefields, I think probably BF3 and BF4 were kind of my favorites. get into BF1, to be honest. May update for Windows. Yeah, that came out pretty recently. I don't know, I installed it. I ran it. I saw some report on Tech Power Up about the game performance, and it didn't really... I, I thought I heard something about it improving game performance, but I saw it tested in the Uh, this is Battlefield 5. I don't believe we have RTX on right now, honestly. There you oh. go. Uh, last... <laughs> Complete squad, squad wipe. You're done. In case you missed it, evaj.com forward slash live giveaway secret word is... Computex. Always worried about Windows updates. I don't know, I've never really had a problem with Windows updates, honestly. But I know other people have, so... For me personally, like, I usually always run that updates. I don't usually have any issues. Nuts! But I 
also usually run like beta versions of software and the browser and stuff. So, yeah. Drivers. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm, 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 I, I don't mind being a guinea pig sometimes. <laughs> Like I use, I run like a Firefox beta on the browsers and also Chrome betas. I don't know, just to try the new features. I usually stay away from alpha though. <laughs> yeah, super early stages. Yeah, right the betas, the betas usually at least for those I'm okay with, but the alphas I usually yeah, it's nice. a little bit, a little bit too much. Too. See anything? Yeah. <laughs> oh, those snipers! here, 10 p.m. here in Taiwan. So, ebj.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Computex. That's going to be our last giveaway for today. We're going to give it away in about 30 minutes. It's for an EBJ X299 dark motherboard. Yeah, Microsoft has recently added a lot of options for uh, the way updates are rolled out and you can pause updates for a certain amount of days and things like that, which we didn't have before. Starting to feel the jet lag. Need more Red Bull. Hard. <laughs> yeah. Tired, Tired man. Oh, good thing we got this. Red Bull. You know what? Honestly, like the Red Bull and Monster, like I don't feel the effects that much anymore. Yeah, like I feel like I yeah. used to, and then it's like I don't know. I, I like became immune to it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm immune to it. I don't know, man. What, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I got to be tolerant to that. Too much caffeine. Like, I can drink, like, a Red Bull or, like, a Monster, and then I can, like, go to bed, like, in, like, an hour. Wow. Like, I'm, I don't have any trouble. Yeah, you're like, taking too much. Right? Like, I don't know what's happened to me. Somebody, please help me. Someone. <laughs> detox. This, detox the Red Whoa! Yes, there you go. Get another one. Oh. <laughs> you built up a tolerance. You need to drink more now. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. Red line. Is that a, I never heard of that before. Is that an energy drink? Red line? Destruction of the environment and the buildings and all that kind of stuff. That changes. Yeah, like no game has that level of destruction and stuff. You know, like no, no Call of Duty, no, like 
None of them. It's so rare to see, especially in a multiplayer game, to have a building that can literally fall down. Well, PC, you're running today. So, nothing too crazy today, actually, guys. So, we have a Hadron system here. With the, the graphics card is, is pretty good. It is an RTX 2070. So, not the best, but uh, still pretty good. But the CPU, I think, is like a... It's a Z170 motherboard. So, it's, you know, it's nothing too crazy. Um, not like our rig at home. supposed to be 18 to drink because it can kill you? What? Wow! <laughs> That's gonna get like blue cow. That's probably red right gold. I'm not sure I want to try that one. <laughs> <laughs> The Battlefield games always have some of the best graphics. All yeah. of them, you know, like oh, the time of release. Battlefield 2, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5. Like they all have, for the time they're released, like very impressive graphics. Yeah, Battlefield 5 is no different, especially if you have an RTX card and you enable the ray tracing features. There's no game that looks like that, honestly. I still think it's the best example for ray tracing today. Yeah, that, that's um, the bar. Yeah. Especially this so, map with ray tracing. It's pretty all the reflection. Impressive. What's your favorite GPU? The 2080 Ti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's an easy answer. <laughs> But it's hard to say, like, if you were to go, if you were to say, what's your favorite GPU of all time, and you go back and you look at all the GPUs at the time, you know? Yeah, I guess. So. I don't know, you know, like, there's a lot of really good ones. The the 8800 Ultra, or, wow. G, or even GTX at the time was an incredible GPU. Even the 1080 Ti at the time, an awesome GPU. 9800 um, GTX was awesome. You know, the, the 8800 GTX is a... Uh, Kind of like a that GP in particular. It, it's it, like, is that it, it's that like forever friendly? Yeah, there's something about that particular GPU. I think because it was like a right around the time Crisis release, which was like I say, Battlefield Five has good graphics, but like at the time when Crisis was released, there was wow. nothing that looked even close to that game. Not even half. Like, of not that even one. close. So I think you know. For the time period that that game was in, it was like on a whole nother level. And uh, I think it was like around that time frame when it came out. So, you know, there's a lot of memories of, of that game and that card uh, for me that was uh, pretty, pretty fun and interesting. Yeah, so. Yeah, remembering if you could run Crisis. Yeah, the yeah, like uh, the price is still good. Yeah, you know, like I, I loaded it because I was just playing for fun. Like I wanted to run. You know, that game's still like you can't run it at 4K on even like a 2080 Ti, yeah, yeah. man. But like I, I just think it's not really that optimized for 4K, which is mainly the reason. But like I loaded it up just to try 4K on a 2080 Ti to see if you could do it, and that game is like. Now, granted, there's some parts of it that don't look that that don't hold up that well anymore. Like specifically, I think like some of the texture resolutions and stuff. But there are parts of that game that look still amazing. The lighting, the like vegetation, the way the trees fall yeah. and stuff like that when you shoot at when them in the woods. And yeah, like it was a beach. I believe the woods by the beach. Yeah, it, was awesome. it still looks good to this day. And that game is that game is old, man. That game came out forever now. When did that game come? Two thousand six or something? Something like that. Yeah. Was...
Yeah, I think the, 80, the 8800 GTX came out first, as I recall, and then the 8800 Ultra came out later. Um, so the 8800 Ultra was definitely a better card, but I specifically remember the 8800 GTX when it released, and, you know, we actually, I remember when that card released, we actually went to a launch party with NVIDIA, and uh, got to see Crisis running on it, and the owner of Crisis, he bought really was there, and it was really awesome. What is the best game that still personally you were nasty at? And you're like, what's the best game that I'm not good at? That's <laughs> <laughs> a true question. There's a lot of games I'm not good at. <laughs> so about 15 more minutes, guys. EVJ.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is Computex. We're giving away an EVJ X299 Dark Motherboard, so about 15 minutes left for our stream, and then we're going to end it here because I'm tired. And uh, it's past 10 p.m. here, but uh, it's all good and fun, and I got Red Bull, so we can keep going for about 15 more minutes, <laughs> and then I'll be done. I can keep you for like about 10 minutes. The 800 GT was also a pretty awesome card at the time, because that card was a single slot gaming card. Which is something that, like, today is unheard of. That card was a single slot gaming card. Not like a low end gaming card, it was like a, a middle to high end gaming card that was single slot. So, you have to give, uh, give them some props for that. No excuse, I'm just tired. <laughs> <laughs> How many kills you got? Nine. Nine, nine. Wow, that's pretty nice good. Job. Yeah, good, okay. Better team now. Pretty consistent. Another one that gives me good memories is the GTX 2080. Or was it 2080 GTX? I forgot. I think they used to flip the name. A swivel. <laughs> 24 cans of Red Bull in your personal gaming fridge next to your rig. That's how to game. That's objective Charlie lost. What was the word? The word was Computex. The first ever GP I bought was an RTX 2080. Yeah, well, that's a good, that's an awesome card to have as your first ever gaming GPU. <laughs> yeah. It's a forever now, guys. Okay. It's gonna be awesome. Um, you know what? Honestly, I would have to say, like, probably the the uh, my favorite game that I'm not good at is probably like um, some of the Rainbow Six games. Wow. Which uh, I have always been a huge fan of the entire Rainbow Six franchise. I mean, I've played all of them from Rainbow yeah, Six like One to Rainbow Six Rogue Spear, Rainbow Six Three, Raven Shield, or Rogue Spear. I can't remember exactly, but uh, I've never been particularly that great at those games. But I love those games a lot. I played a lot. I played some Siege too, Rainbow Six Siege. It's it's, it's different than like yeah, yeah, yeah. the old. Yeah, it's it's a lot different than like Rainbow Six Raven Shield or you know whatever, but or Rainbow Six Shield Rainbow Six Two. But uh, it's still a good game. I like I I actually quite like that game when it came out. I haven't played it in some time though. But another game that I was not particularly very good at, but I really did enjoy it. What's the highest you overclocked a PC? Well, if you used liquid nitrogen before, I don't remember exactly what we got. 
that. The mobile we are giving away is the EBJ X299 Dark Motherboard, yes. First NVIDIA card was a GeForce 2 MX400. Wow. Yeah, I had a that GeForce guy. 2 MX400 as well. <laughs> long, 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 long time Too ago. Many. Thought about buying some more things. Can you tell me more about the cases? So the cases we have a few different case options. So we have the Hadron, which is like a mini ITX build. If you're looking to build something really small, then the Hadron's actually pretty nice. Uh, that's actually what we have in this PC right now that we're playing on. So it, it already has its power supply integrated to it, so it's pretty small and compact, but can still fit most full-size graphics cards. But if you want something a little bit bigger, then the DG7 has tempered glass and a few other features. Make it a pretty nice looking rig, or if you need something huge, the DG8 is our full tower chassis, which is actually quite unique. There's a lot of pretty unique features on it. Um, like it has an integrated fan controller, temperature monitors, um, stuff like that. Um, USB hub, of course, and even HDMI. Um, obviously it's a much bigger tower, so well, you need to make sure you have the space, but if you're looking for something big that has a lot of expansion slots, then that's a big one. Is there a giveaway on? Yes. UVJ.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is CompTEC. Uh, Team UVJ, you've been live for over an hour. By this point in the podcast, you should have consumed at least four ounces of water. Does this, Thank have, you. Does this have water in it? <laughs> I think so, so. I think so. If you, yeah, M.2 drives are, uh, I think, are kind of the way to go these days. You know, if you, you know, it's just it's cleaner. It doesn't have um, all the cables and stuff necessary. It, yeah. It looks nicer in the chassis. It gives you ultra, really great performance, especially if you use an NVMe drive. So, yeah, it's pretty good. But you just kind of want to keep them away from your graphics cards. Because they can run hot, and the graphics cards can run hot too. So, um, if you have the option, then just maybe try to position it in a way from the graphics cards. But if not, then it can still work also. You guys are winning this one, right? Yes. Fine work. Objective easy is now ours. What's CPU socket 2066 is the cheapest? I don't know the cheapest, but I do know that there are CPUs that are well low under five hundred dollars for a socket 2066. Is there a giveaway right now? Slash live giveaway. Secret word is context. We got 10 minutes of stream left, guys, before we head home for the day. We we'll take a nice little nap before we gotta get up tomorrow and finish the final day. <laughs> We're giving away an X299 Dark Motherboard while the Brazilian Big Beast over here is laying the smack down. How many kills you got? Okay, 14 now. There you go. Let's try to keep uh, The secret word is Computex. C O M. Uh, yes, it is another X299 Dark Motherboard. There you go. That's more kills than I have in 10 games. <laughs> yeah, it's about the same for me, too. There you go. Yes! Good night! Oh. Random frags. Hello, team. Hello. How's it going? We are in the final stretch of Computex Day 2 here. Until we get ready for Day 3, which will be tomorrow.
Nvidia just uploaded some 4K GeForce RTX Wolfenstein. By the way, you can get Wolfenstein for free with the purchase of an RTX graphics card. So a bundle that just launched yesterday. Buy an RTX graphics card for free. Of course, well. What new products did EVG announce? So we have the new motherboard, the SR3. We showed it uh, off a little bit earlier in the stream with Steven, one of our guys from R&D. Uh, so we have that, we have the Z10 RGB, which uh, we announced as well. We have a CLC, a new CLC, uh, the CLC 360, so uh, now it's 360 millimeters. And a whole slew of new power supplies. So we have a G7 series, a G5 series, a GA series as well, which will be coming out in the next few months. This game looks like it's a wrap, and it's about to finish right on time. <laughs> yeah, just in time. is a victory and that is a great way to end our Computex stream. Let me switch the little thing over here. Thanks everyone for taking uh, okay. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks everyone for tuning in to our Computex live stream. Thank you everyone. So, a lot of fun. You're really good at Battlefield, man. Uh, not really. <laughs> not as close to me. So, let's see who's the master. So, Team EBJ, do my eyes deceive me? So, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's wrap up some of the stuff that we have at Computex real quick before we end the stream. So, let's grab that motherboard over there. So, this is the SR3. In case you guys missed it early on in our stream, we're showing this off. This is the SR3 motherboard. So, if you guys are longtime fans of EVJ, you may remember the SR2 and SRX motherboards. Badass. This is the next gen version. It's only single socket, but uh, we really wanted to retain kind of the the soul of the SR series. So this is the SR3 motherboard. So this motherboard, uh, this motherboard uses the uh, the Intel 30. Oh, so late, I can't barely remember. Basically, it's a Xeon platform, 28 core CPU, 30. Too late, man. I already forgot the sockets. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, the 3647, I believe it is. Yeah. 3647. Okay. So um, this is the SR3 can support up to four GPUs. Has 10 gig e Ethernet on there as well. Of course, U.2 water block capability. This can be um, ran as a passive or with water through it. And of course, we rotated the entire CPU socket. Allow you to get all the power inputs on the side there. Check this out. There is four eight-pin CPU power inputs oh. along the side there, plus the 24 pins. So there is a lot of power capabilities on this board. 20 phase PWM plus plus a 16-layer PCB. I thought it was 12-layer. It's 16, 16 
layers, PCB. So this is going to ship in August time frame. So we have that. Down here we have... And it's heavy? <laughs> yeah. We have the uh, 2080 Ti Kingpin water block. This is going to be shipping this week. So still retains the OLED functionality on there. And uh, that's what it looks like. So very nice aesthetic shipping this week. The other thing we announced was the Z10 RGB keyboard. So Z10 keyboard from EBGA, if you guys remember, was a red LED keyboard with an OLED, it's or not OLED, but it had an L a, a small screen on there that allowed you to see your vitals. Yeah, it's actually this the keyboard we use here. So now we're bringing it with RGB functionality. Rewrote the software, it's entirely new software as well. And let's see. Oops. And then uh, what else? Oh, we had uh, a lot of uh, new power supplies. So G7 power supply series coming soon. It's going to be our highest end power supply series on the gold platform. Very small form yeah, factor. factor. Um, and then we'll have G5. And then we have uh, GA, which will be our entry level fully modular. So, um, yeah. So that is uh, vitals, such as so vitals meaning that you can uh, display your GPU temperatures, the clock speeds, the frame rates, basically anything that you can see in precision, you can add, you can okay. apply to the That's keyboard here. LCD to monitor that while you're gaming. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the um, oh, and I forgot the CLC 360. So uh, we have today we have the EVJ CLC. We have the 120. We have a 240. We have 280. Now we have a 360. We have a CLC 360 that's going to be shipping probably in July time frame. So it's pretty much the same uh, setup that we have today. You know the water block looks the same. However, it's a 360 millimeter radiator, so you get better cooling performance. Much bigger radiator on there. So that is. Uh, it's going to ship in July. So that is uh, the whole lineup we have. Now. The lineup that we have for Computex. Hope you guys uh, like the stuff that we've been working on. Of course, more stuff coming soon. And with that said, now it is time to draw the final winner of our okay. Computex stream. Let's see who's going to. You ready? So the secret the word was Computex. Wow. All right. So here is all of our entries. And here we go. One, a two, and a three. Ta-da. We have a, hold on. And we have a winner, okay? The winner is Twitch user Silver Sir, Sir, Server. Silver Server. Silver Silver Server, Silver. congratulations, you have won. And EBJ X299 Dark Motherboard. And uh, yeah. Yeah, it's tons of possibilities of overclocking, gaming like crazy. It's a badass card. Congratulations. Yep, so that is the X299 Dark Motherboard. Congratulations, you have won. Thanks everyone again for tuning in and watching us play, well, him play primarily. <laughs> <laughs> the Brazilian Vin Diesel in action <laughs> on a Mortal Kombat, and thanks everyone for participating with us and making it. You know, uh, we've seen people from all over the world. Thank you very much. Make sure you get tuned on the social media, Team EVGA, uh, and if you're Brazil, EVGA Brazil, and Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, we'll see you there. Yeah. So uh, that's going to do it for us here uh, on our Computex live stream. It is now 10.30 p.m. and I'm very tired. And a very special thank you to Intel as well for allowing us to put together this stream and give away all these great prizes. Um, and also the motherboard, of course, you know, um, helping us put that together and deliver it all to you guys because it's going to be an awesome product and I cannot wait for it to ship. God, so, okay. yeah. Yeah, we made it. And, and, uh, and thank you for the hot dog that I ate half of. Yeah, and it didn't have the soda, bro. Yeah, and I didn't have the soda yet. Yeah, I'll save it for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I did have some. I, I did have some of the Red Bull though. Yeah. So. Just making sure you didn't honor your. Uh, yeah. Commitment. I did. Yeah, and I had soy sauce as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, is there going to be a stream on Friday? That I'm not 100% certain of. I know Peter mentioned that he might may may try to be a, may try to get something together, but I can't guarantee that. So just keep an eye out on the social medias to see uh, for any updates there. And uh, that's it, guys. All right. We'll Thank catch you. you next time. Bye bye. See ya. Bye bye.